vector spinning device. It is PVA polymer. Uh, PVA polymer. Uh, actually, it is 8% of polymer and 92% uh, water. We are going to uh, add the ionized water to the patient. Okay, now this is our polymer. We're going to add 2.5 grams of it. It's a bit higher. Okay, it's ready. Now we are going to put the water. I'm going to put it in the stereotype and I'm going to set the temp to 100 centigrade. I'm going to add it slowly because the solubility of the PVA in the water is not very good and it takes time to be. Okay, in order to make it faster, we are going to use water sanity homogenizer. And we are going to set the device. Okay, I am going to set the device. On time is 4 seconds, half time is 3 seconds, and the total time is 10 minutes. I am going to start. Now we have waited for about 20 minutes to make the solution ready. Now it's ready. Add it in the ultrasonic homogenizer. Now we're going to stop it. As you see here, it is a transparent polymer which is used for, in the next video, we are going to use it for electro spinning. Thank you for watching our videos. I'm here to explain about the electro spinning experiment. This device is used to fabricate nanowires by applying uh, electrostatic force. In order to begin, we had to synthesize polymers, which is PVA in our case. We had to, we've used 80% PVA and 90% deionized water for our solution. We use a syringe to uh, have some uh, some content of that uh, polymer, and uh, we set the syringe into the device uh, by uh, setting the pump number two, and now. We have to do the settings in order to begin the experiment. Uh, we use the, as as I said, we use the pump to number two. Uh, its injection uh, content will be less than the volume in the syringe. Uh, uh, here, in our case, it's two cc because the syringe contains three cc of the polymer, and. Uh, its injection rate uh, will be 0.5 cc per hour. 
we play, uh, we, uh, we press the play button to start the pump two. Now we're going to, uh, that brings us to the collector. Uh, it will uh, do its work on uh, 100 rate per meter RPM. The collector is going to work at uh, 100 RPM speed and it's wrapped in metal foil, aluminium foil actually. And uh, we're going to press it. After playing the collector, it, it will rotate and afterwards we press the scan button in order for collector to scan for the desired dis distance and uh, the position to collect the nanowires. The light goes on and we're going to close the lid and uh, after uh, all of these settings we want to apply the high voltage to the contacts attached to the syringe and the collector. The high voltage uh, should be something higher than 10 kilovolts. We set that at uh, almost 90 or 20 kilovolts. And you can see the Taylor cone created here by applying the electrostatic force as the, as the result of the applied voltage to the syringe and the collector. The collector rotates again and again and again and it collects, as you can see, it's something delicate and in, nanowire, in, in nanometers order actually. By applying these voltage uh, and creating the uh, Taylor cone, we're trying to uh, create this electrostatic force and the collector collects the nanowires from the syringe and uh, we will have the created nanowires on that foil after all. Patient, after some, some time we can uh, stop the high voltage, make sure that it, it is stopped and make sure there's no danger or risk for you and uh, we stop the collector and we press the stop button to stop scanning and with the pump off we can open the door the lid actually and we can take out the aluminium foil containing the nanowires desired You can scratch the aluminium foil. You can easily observe the nanowires created. The nanofibers have been created on the, on the aluminium foil and collected by the collector. And you can see they're uh, in desirable thickness and quality. Thank you all, and you can uh, watch other videos in our YouTube channel, please subscribe to Quantonics YouTube channel.